Health inspectors checked out dozens of kitchens this week, and nearly a dozen of those landed on tonight's Food for Thought list. So who's at the top and who's on the bottom? KCBD News Channel 11's Christy Harton joins us with the answer. Christy? Karen and Abner, we have a full plate in this week's Food for Thought, so let's get straight to those violations. Taco Villa at 7110 Quaker had 15 violations. Salsa and Pico de Gallo were above the safe cold temperature of 41 degrees. Scoops and ladles had food debris on them. A can of tomatoes was heavily dented. This can cause botulism. An employee washed their hands for less than 20 seconds. An employee was cleaning and went to prepare food without washing their hands or putting on gloves. A rag was in a hand sink. A cup with an unknown green liquid was stored with chemicals. Several rags were stored on the counter. They must be kept in the sanitizing solution when not in use. Boxes of cups were stored on the floor in an outside storage. The three compartment sink is not sealed against the wall. A container with an unknown white powder and a container with an unknown brown powder were stored above the fry station. There was an accumulation of debris inside the ice machine. There was dirt and debris on the gasket of the walk-in freezer. A wet mop was stored in the mop bucket. It must be allowed to dry. There was an accumulation of dust, dirt, food residue and debris under the three compartment sink. The report shows all violations were corrected while the inspector was there. Rise and Shine Donuts at 5604 Slide had 13 violations. Raw eggs, which were out for more than four hours, were above the safe cold temperature of 41 degrees. Raw eggs were directly above ready-to-eat cheese in a prep cooler. Kolaches in a warmer were not at least 135 degrees. The hot hold unit was broken. Disinfecting wipes containing bleach were above food items. There was no chlorine test strips available to check the strength of the sanitizing solution. The hand sink was blocked by a futon. There was a futon in the kitchen. A plastic container used as a scoop was damaged. There was a heavy buildup of ice on the walls of the reach-in freezer. A bulk container of brown powder was not labeled. The floor under the grill was heavily soiled with a large buildup of greasy debris. Employees' personal items were not stored properly. The inspector notes, due to the number and the nature of the violations, a lack of active managerial control was observed. The report shows most of the violations were corrected during the inspection. Einstein Brother Bagels at 4525 Marshall Sharp Freeway had 21 violations. Raw eggs were above 41 degrees. The ice scoop holder was dirty. More than half a dozen food containers were heavily soiled and stained with food residue. Open bags of cheese, pre-cooked sausage, spinach, and mayonnaise did not have a date mark. The thermometer in a beverage cooler was not working. A hand sink was being used as a dump sink. The hand sink was stained with coffee. The water at the three compartment sink was not hot enough. Multiple containers of food were not labeled. Buckets of sanitizer solution were on the floor. Boxes of bagels were on the floor of the walk-in cooler. A container of cinnamon and a bag of cinnamon were stored in a dirty area. Brown standing water was leaking from under the oven. Utensils were in a container of cloudy water that was only 74 degrees. It must be at least 135 degrees to kill bacteria. There was heavy ice accumulation on the ceiling of the freezer and ice was touching at least four boxes of food. There was heavy grease and food debris under the toaster and on the wall. Employees' personal items were not stored properly. The inspector notes there were also several items out of compliance. The food manager certificate expired in August. The restaurant could not provide food handler permits for its employees. The walk-in freezer was holding temperature at 41 degrees. Inside, the inspector found boxes of food that were defrosted and soft, including bread, sausage, and salmon. The door frame leading to the back kitchen was peeling and held together by gray tape. According to the report, most of the violations were corrected during the inspection. Now to this week's good news. Here's a look at our top performers. Cinemark Movie 16, Goodline Beer, Benavita Smokehouse, Dubs Home Cooking and Catering, Dos Primos Barbecue, Johnny Mavie's Jerk Barbecue, Nightmare Nom Noms, and One Poor Pony. For a closer look at this week's inspection, head to the Food for Thought section of KCBD.com. Karen and Abner, back to you.